Religious divide between the Muslims and the Jews in the Holy Land of Jerusalem was split wide open as the Orthodox Jews were escorted into Al-Aqsa Mosque by armed force while the Muslims prayed. Late on Wednesday night, police entered the mosque compound and tried to evacuate worshippers, using stun grenades and firing rubber bullets, according to staff of the WACUF authorities, which manages the compound. The Palestinian Red Crescent reported at least six people were injured in the latest violence. The Israeli police said dozens of youngsters brought rocks and firecrackers into the mosque and had tried to barricade themselves inside. The WACUF, however, said police entered the mosque before prayers were over. More Palestinians had gathered in the mosque, responding to calls by WACUF to pray inside overnight. The violence at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque occurred during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan and on the eve of the Jewish Passover, stoking fears of further violence at the mosque compound, a flashpoint in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The mosque is located on a contested hilltop site revered by both Muslims and Jews. Muslims regard the site as the third holiest in Islam, after Mecca and Medina. It is also Judaism's most sacred site, revered as the Temple Mount, a vestige of the two biblical Jewish temples. The compound has been a point of friction between Israel and Palestine and clashes at the site in 2021 contributed to setting off a 10-day war with Gaza. Global criticism and concern mounted after Israeli police clashed earlier with Palestinians inside Islam's third holiest site, sparking a military exchange of rockets and airstrikes, with fears of further escalation. Two more rockets were fired late Wednesday from the Israel-blockaded Gaza Strip towards Israel, the army and witnesses said, and fresh altercations broke out at Al-Aqsa Mosque during the Jewish Passover and the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. Armed police in riot gear stormed the prayer hall of Al-Aqsa Mosque before dawn Wednesday, aiming to dislodge law-breaking youths and masked agitators, they said had barricaded themselves inside. A barrage of rocks and fireworks met the officers, police video showed, and more than 350 people were arrested. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres was shocked and appalled by images he saw of Israeli security forces beating people at the mosque, particularly because it came at a time holy to Jews, Christians and Muslims that should be a period of peace, his spokesman said. White House said the United States was extremely concerned by the continuing violence and we urge all sides to avoid further escalation. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, whose country and Israel have been rebuilding ties, said, trampling on the Al-Aqsa Mosque is our red line. Later on Wednesday, Israeli police said, dozens of law-breaking juveniles, some of them masked, threw fireworks and stones, into the mosque and tried again to barricade themselves in as worshippers gathered for evening prayers. Officers thwarted and dispersed the violent rioters and allowed worshippers to leave, police said. An AFP journalist saw Israeli security forces blocking access routes to the mosque. A spokesman for Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas said Israel was creating an atmosphere of escalation, instability and tension, saying police stormed the mosque and attacked worshippers on Wednesday evening. The Israeli police fired stun grenades at Palestinians who hurled stones and firecrackers back at the forces. Violence in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has intensified since the new government of veteran Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu took power in December, a coalition with extreme right and ultra-Orthodox Jewish parties. Palestinian witnesses said Israeli police armed with batons, tear gas grenades and smoke bombs burst into the mosque, by force, and beat the women and men, worshipping there early Wednesday. One video widely circulated on social media showed police clubbing people on the floor inside the mosque. Palestinian militant group Hamas, which rules Gaza, called on West Bank Palestinians to go en masse to the Al-Aqsa Mosque to defend it. The mosque in Israeli annexed East Jerusalem is built on top of what Jews call the Temple Mount, Judaism's holiest site. On Gaza's streets, protesters burned tires and swore to defend and protect the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Within hours of the first clashes at Al-Aqsa Mosque, at least nine rockets were fired from Gaza towards Israel, the army said, adding that, in response, Warplanes struck two suspected Hamas weapons manufacturing sites. The airstrikes were followed by new rocket fire from Gaza and further Israeli strikes, AFP journalists reported. Later Wednesday witnesses reported two more rockets fired from northern Gaza. Israel said, one launch failed and fell in Gaza while the other landed in the area of the security fence boundary. Islamic Jihad, another Gaza-based militant group, called the rockets a first warning message. Do tell us what you think about this video and for more news updates subscribe to India Today.